Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody in between and all over the world, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you here to this wistful Sunday morning in the Nottingham Sports Grounds, the cool music of the bagpipes playing us into this truly titanic UK Nationals final. As we see the uh, now becoming synonymous flick pull from Ross Nugent going all the way down there and fielded by Tom Abrams, a tightening Clapham's history. Looking at one more title to his repertoire. Gets it down the line to JT and back into the middle. This is smooth, slow, quick play. And Josh Briggs, he opens up that flick. Hockey is synonymous with it himself. Conrad Wilson, front of the end zone. And a turnover going for the quick and easy pop into Tom Abrams. Oh. Away from the Scottish side. Terry. And again, Clamp doing a good job clamping down, but not a lot of downfield movement. And Justin Ford's going to jump in and steal that disc away. So pressure everywhere. It's easy to see from a replay and get an, get an idea and a sense of things. But when you're actually involved in the play, that's about as close as it gets. It's got it. Oh, and there it is. The call agrees with the replay on that one. It certainly looked like Justin Ford was able to sneak in. And another unforced error between the two veterans. Nugent waits no time. He shoots to the end zone. And it falls to the ground before Jack Hughes could collect it. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Alba doing everything they can to shut down these dump resets. We knew that would be a target for them coming into this game. Wilson uncorks, launches it. It gets a boost of air to take it over the head of Nugent, and it's collected on the other side by Ford. He waits for support to arrive. It does. Mead has a lot of experience in these finals. One of the many veteran presences Clapham have. Ford goes to the big arc and pass all the way around, and absolutely nobody in the vicinity taken down comfortably by Yo for the score one. Gets it across, Mackey sends it down the line, collected by Agnew, the two captains, and Agnew wastes no time, he uncorks one straight to Dick, he's all the way down, he's in front of the end zone, he's got support in two players, and there's the quick pop in for the score to Warnock, Alba responds stylishly. Calm style, nice flow, good attack. And just, again, at the moment, not really anybody pressuring deep space in terms of defense, it just seems to be happy to let the lands just run and just get those gainers. As you see Alba coming out in something of a zone. They're trying to mark type, but there's the separation downfield, and it's OG going all the way. It floats, but he reads it perfectly. Experience coming to the fore. Andrew Dick looking around, one of the real big throwers, big players in every sense of the word. Oh, a slight touch, but not enough to send to the ground. O'Malley is match up for a lot of this game. Scotland as they try to get him. There's Dick. He sends it down the line. It's floating, but it's not floating enough. Drops in front of James St John Stainsby's toes. Straight through the middle. So now we get a look at this Clapham D-line offense. Their first opportunity. Alba had two. They couldn't cash it in. Neither can Clapham. Back in those rare occasions that your O-line throw it away. So Voxel gets it to Webb Webb with the lateral inside break. And Agnew Ole. Like a matador as Conor McHale pulls his way through but comes up empty. Gets it across to Cameron Mackey from Boxall. Mackey looking. Eventually yeah, tries to get it to Webb but this pressure is so close at all time. Back into McHale in the middle. McHale thinks about it but not for too long. Sends it deep. It's floating. It's going to need a bid. It gets one. Huge collection from Andrew Hillman. A bit of a Dennis the Menace look. And I think that's, you know, they are the Dennis the Menace of the UK Ultimate scene. Oh, there's such a problem to try and deal with. Centered to Boxel, middle of the pitch. It's a bit of a side stack. They try to get it to Agni rushing over, and he wants the deep shot. He gets it. It's big and floaty. Time for bodies to come and get involved. They're collecting underneath it, but nobody reads it. Absolutely fantastic stuff by Webb. Small ball working it around the pitch. That's a fantastic cut by Justin Ford. Every movement he makes is so aggressive. And there's the scooper over the top for the score to Ali Gordon. Working out for them. McNeil, Stainsby working hard to try and get there. Loads of pressure, huge bit. And Clapham have a chance to get another break. This is a dangerous position that Scotland find themselves in, but there's another turn. 
They force it down the line. Clavenworth just so close and everything. There goes up another deep shot. This one's not going to float quite as much. And it is perfect to the end zone. Gun themselves down on defense and then, you know, just work through the rest of the seven. So Abrams launches one deep. Ashley Yo is underneath it. He's known for this. The rules you're allowed to do. So Getting what do the people at, at home think? Oh, that's... From around the back, over the top, I think that's Ash Yo. And I think that's the right call to signal the score and give that goal. And now they tighten back into more of a traditional match. That's a beautiful break. The backhand breaks were big. And Agnew once again just uncorks and he floats one. Dick's underneath it. He's got competition. A lot of the oh, and it's going to be an uncontested. So Dick gets it on the front of the end zone. He goes for the quick scoop to Voxel. Voxel's right in front. Nathan Rag, Marky. Oh, that's straight into the hands of the defender. No, not just you. He seemed to basically throw directly into the chest of Oscar Modiano, who clearly had just put on an invisibility cloak. Thompson looks to absolutely send one. Modiano, but big time block. Gets it back inside to Agnew. Agnew has options, gets it to Boxall, and he drops it. So Orcock marked by Dick. And there in the front corner, somehow finds the space to get it to Hillman. Mackey looking, wants to get it back into Dick. Those backhands popping up and coming back down into the bread basket. Dick tries to scoop that one around. He gets it across to Webb. Webb there for the quick pop into Warnock and a score. Realizing matchup. Delaney's going up against Mead. No Ford Mead can switch it up. But Ford wants the big shot deep. He's launched it to Yo. Yo is underneath it. Misreads it. And there come Alba. The defensive credit. Got to go to Andrew Cleary. But there were three Scots in the area. And ratcheted it up there. So skilled. That was a difficult throw all the way through. A mass of bodies. Alba now looking to launch it. It's got flow underneath it. It's also got several players. And getting one back. I believe that was Yo. Yeah, getting the D back against Andrew Cleary. Josh Briggs. Middle of the pitch. Corey, now with the disc on the far sideline, he gets it to Abrams. Abrams cocks it, tries to shoot it, it's just perfect. What you need of this hot, fiery Clapham D. And again, these are some brilliant inside breaks by Webb. And there's the huge shot deep, Dick is underneath it, JT's got time to close the gap, but Dick just needs to jump and pull it down. Like if you're going for backhand hucks consistently, in your offensive structure and you're finding that they're hanging like this and giving defenses the opportunity to catch up there's a simple solution to start throwing hands. Beautiful assignment gets to Wilson that bid on a bit of a time delay but we still like to see the acrobatics across to Mead in the middle he has Horry shut down well and quickly by Ian Lindsay and then Mead opts instead to go deep it's mum it's just out in front of him hanging waiting perfect into the lanes from the handler marks oh beautiful fakes Gets it across to Dick, he launches it right back into the middle. Big layout, rescued from the clutches of gravity by Chris Hapgood. He floats one up and immediately, you want to play like you're here to stay? That is the way. Alba, 8-6. Really nicely done. And you see the shot he goes for. Honestly think he was trying to hit Mackey. Mackey pulled out of it. Hapgood recognized what was needed, gets down. I think that's his second assist of the game so far. Too long with the disc, middle of the park. As Ford looks for the quick shot, and you want to talk about consummate professionals, look at that for a finish for Dio. Finals and two more finals. Indeed. Or two more finals and a semi final. Plenty of action still to come as we see a big shot. They're looking for Agnew. They find him right in front of the end zone. He has a chance to shoot it to Stainsby. He goes to the opposite direction and waiting for it. Alistair McNeil and Briggs dishing, diving, just about getting that break off. Things are getting close, but not close enough for Alba right now. Abrams into the middle, bounces off the hands of Oli. Go out, and there goes Terry, running it down to collect it. Back to Nugent. Nugent on the front corner. There is space for them to work with, but it's not where he's looking. And there's the hand block. He wasn't looking for that either. Got plenty of work to do. Yo is just running all over the place, giving Terry quite the walk. And there's Ford, lines it up, shoots it. Gordon under pressure. And there's the bid. I think Gordon incredibly fair-minded he understood he'd misread it then the contact came. Another opportunity for Alba they've had plenty of defensive opportunities huge big cool, incredible collection by Nugent and there he calls the timeout nah and there's Terry Nugent huge bid full extension the flying Scotsman so you're gonna see a bit more of the flavor and the other stars coming out of the Scottish scene 
And Nugent being marked by Mead. He's going up and around. There's lots of float. Terry has to get up there instead. There's the beat, and that's a Callahan! Huge shout out to that move by Mead as well. To completely dissuade that. And you got to think Nugent a little bit gun shy, maybe after getting hand blocked earlier. Big bit by Ford and collected by his long standing teammate, Tom Abrams, at all times. Absolutely, having come across from the mix to the open division, a big biscuit going up to the far side, but taken away by Magnus Wilson. And across, that's Modiano. Almost hand blocked, it seemed. I think he just holstered it at the last possible second. Thompson thinks about the flick hook, but not for too long. Dick's there, trying to get in the way, but it goes right over his head to Alcock. Oh, I almost felt lucky. Then Alcock looks. Dukes, jives, options, screen passed in every which direction, and eventually it's Neil McCullough who gets the score and the break for Clapham. Searching, pops it back to Webb. Webb looking inside, the timing of the cuts just seems off. That one was clean. Martin gets a hand block on the second, asking. Influence offensively for them. Searching, doesn't go for it immediately. Sets it through and big pressure. Excellent effort by Alistair McNeil, and they get the disc back, probably saving their realistic hopes to stay in this game. Boxall once again picks it up, and she launches it deep immediately. It's got float, it's got a backhand, chasing it down with a plum is Habgood, but he's not gonna get there. Going for the big, arcing around, taking their time getting it there. Hillman, and he goes again, but that one's gonna eat dirt. <laughs> Trying to force that a bit too quick to butt, I think. Terry's wasting no time. Terry would step across from traditionally being the D-line captain. That's a beautiful inside break across. Really nicely done to McNeil. And then McNeil looks to pop it into Boxall for the score, and they get it. McNeil putting Rag under all kinds of pressure, and there's the toe-in from Boxall. They want to give themselves time to chase it down, and Delaney is putting on the Jets to get down there. He's on breaks, spreading it out to Abrams. It goes over the top of Abrams, and there's a crucial turnover right in front of the end zone. This final. They've had a few chances to get these breaks. Oh, big space by Yo Terry. He's searching, he's forced to go all the way around, and there's just nobody there. And Alba, they get the turns, they cannot for the life of them punch it in. And there's Ford with a beautiful inside out backhand just right into the path. When well, the sun's finally emerged from through the clouds, it's shining on Alba. Let's see if they can match it with some heat of their own as here comes Agnew chasing it down. Beautiful setup, collects it just in front. Searching, almost pops it initially, and then just. Tries to throw it to Dick. Dick's still not in. He's in bounds, but he's not in the end zone. It's going to go back to Dick. They're going to agree. Mackey did foul to get free. Warner, or sorry, Stainsby does it. All on his own. Some chance to help work them through. Big bids by Steedman, but it's not quite enough. There's Mead. The clap and continue to recycle so quickly. And there's a dump and chop from Lee. From Yo, but huge bid initially. It's not going to be enough. That is heartbreaking. For Joel Terry, he gets the first touch, but you got to catch your D. There were some clinics at Worlds that uh, Ruben Berg put on to tell people, World well, Game Story, what's wrapping and what's not, but that's a low disc from Alba. Searching, gets it to butt, big bid, but nothing there for it. Butt floats it down the line, there's another one. Save some blushes, they get it back in, so Alba Hope springs for at least another possession anyway. Boxall, looks like it's going to float ever so slightly too much. D-line missing. A consistent recycle into a clear, rather than hanging around. McHale fakes the hammer, goes for the flick. Some of these flicks have been very impressive from McHale. Narrow windows, but he's fitting them in there. Rag now looking, he goes for a scuba himself, taking a page out of his captain's book, and pops it in. And here comes Mackey. An inside shot to Agnew. Agnew thinks about that back end, decides against it. Goes to the flick, inside break, it sits up just enough. Big, big, collected! Beautiful stuff by Stainsby. Still gets it on the opposite side. Looking, shaking, shimmying, shooting all the way across to the corner and collected. And Agnew loves it. Tosses it back into the middle. Comfortably taken in by Hori. Hori looking. He has the form of Mead behind him. Hori still unmarked. He gets it across instead to Yo. The big comes through, but it's a little late from Terry. And there's the pop to who else but Ford. And as we see Clapham finish this final out 15 to 10 there, of course, looking forward to seeing them appear at the European Championship finals later on this season. Oh,